Trobar in the language of the troubadours or old Occitan means to find or to invent. They used it in the sense that they would say, I am composing a song or I am trying to fit words to music. And I wanted my students to do their own kind of trobar in their creative projects. That is to say, to reinvent or reinterpret the lyrics for themselves. One of the challenges of teaching medieval literature is how to make literature that is so distant from us accessible to students in an innovative yet historically responsible way. This is especially true for medieval lyric because we know so little about how it was transmitted or received or performed. But one of the things I wanted to emphasize in my course on troubadours, who are lyric poets of the 12th and 13th centuries, was how this lyric was performed before a live audience. And I wanted them to think about this through doing creative projects in which they could translate or reinterpret these lyrics in a way that was meaningful for them. I wanted them to study the literary and historical aspects of it, but also use new collaborative and technological resources available to them through the division of literatures, cultures, and languages. With a grant from the Stanford Institute in Creative and the Arts, as well as other departments in the humanities, I brought an ensemble from France, the Troubadours Art Ensemble, to perform for the Stanford community, as well as engage with students in all different kinds of departments and my seminar in various colloquia. This gave the students an opportunity to talk to the performers themselves. How do they interpret this music? And what does it mean that this lyric is literature that is valuable to us today and historical, but it is also an act of tradition still being performed in Southern France and all over the world by this ensemble. It's being reinterpreted as well. In their creative project, I wanted them to reflect on this experience and engagement with these contemporary performers. In addition to collaborating with SICA as well as other humanities departments, I also collaborated with Zach Chandler, the academic technology specialist in the DLCL and Experimedia in the division to try to think about this performative aspect and also the students' interaction with the ensemble by having them make creative projects in which they could trobar in which they could invent and reinterpret this lyric for themselves using multimedia resources. We built a site with the help of Experimedia performing trobar. The website was designed as a workspace for the students so that they could think about and analyze this lyric in different ways using video clips or other kind of footage, basically in a way that was different from just writing papers or reading books. And they could also get feedback from each other and from me in a very interactive, active way. So in the lab that was part of the course, the students made different final projects that were translations, interpretations of the lyric that took into account all these performance aspects and the interaction with the ensemble. Jasmine Hugh made a creative project that reflected upon the linguistic aspects of the lyric. She was interested in the way that troubadours would call out to their audience by saying, listen up or hear this, you out there. And she wanted to think about how one could translate that into a video experience or some kind of multimedia experience. And in her video, she foregrounded the way that even though we read these lyrics in books, there is a way that a video or sound could call out to us, a contemporary audience, in a way that reenacted what the troubadours were doing. In another project, Anne Levitsky, who has a background in music, wanted to translate the lyric for modern ears. She sang a song by the troubadours, but then also made her own harmonic line to it. And during the time of the troubadours, there was no harmony, and so this was a way of adapting the lyric to our modern ears. She was able to reflect upon the way words and music fit together or work together in the lyrics in a very interesting way. What's great about Anne's project is that she's been able to extend her research through the project beyond the parameters of the course. This summer she received a grant to 
study and look at manuscripts at the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris, but she's also going to be performing with the Troubadours Art Ensemble and recording with them as well on their upcoming CD. So this is very exciting because she's been able to continue the collaboration with the ensemble as well as continue her interest in the archival and literary aspects of the lyric. When she comes back, we're going to continue developing the website for a future course, and she's going to sing songs of the lyrics working with me so that we can have our own in-house archive of the Troubadour songs as a student resource. I see the Performing Chobar project as continuing in this way in the sense that we have this website that can serve as an archive for future students who can look at the creative projects archived on the site. And also it can continue the collaboration with not only a community at Stanford, but also a community in France and other scholars and students. So it's very exciting to be able to have this cumulative development and cumulative collaboration through the website. It has a great effect of extending and perpetuating this kind of research. And what I hope it does is that it helps us think about new ways we can teach and study medieval literature and culture by using collaborative and technological resources.